thing up. Okay, um, okay, so this is a common theme, and I go to, um, I, go, I mean, I go to lots of 12-step groups, and this is actually written in some of the literature of the 12-step groups. As you start to do, yeah, as you start to do spiritual work, like if you're in a relationship fellowship, suddenly, you know, like you'll sort of say, like, you know, uh, I need to go into withdrawal from unhealthy relationships. So I'm going to stay away from relationships for the next six months. And you, you, agree, you agree that with your spiritual mentor. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fucked. I always choose bad relationships. All right, no more relationships for six months so you can detox and get rid of all of this stuff. And, and it's, it's just written, you know, you can expect, it's in the writing of the thing, you can expect, as soon as you make that commitment to become free, you know, then you can, they'll all pop up. All kinds of wow. things will start to pop up. You know, it's like if you, the same will happen in, in the food fellowships. You know, like, you know, I'm going to give up sugar and donuts and cakes. You know, as soon as you, you make a, the thing that I'm going to become free of sugar and donuts or bad men or bad women or whatever it is, then it's like the universe will you mystically pull out, you know, from the universe all, all, kinds, of, all kinds of things because the universe will just test you. Well, if you want to be free, then you'll get, especially if you make this thing, if you want to practice unconditional love, then you're going to get the most obnoxious people suddenly uh, coming your way. Because that's this is, isn't it? You know, you say, oh, I'm going to be unconditional loving. You'll get, you know, get the most uh, obnoxious people coming up and telling you you're, you're awful. You, you want to, like, give up bad relationships, then you'll suddenly go... They'll, suddenly all your bad relationships will start calling you up and saying, look, look let's try it again. Let's, let's, uh, let's go out for another date. So, you know, you want to give up sugar and donuts and cakes. You know, the next time you go, you know, like, oh, we thought we'd give you. So it was, everyone will start to bring, bring in cakes and donuts and said, we were just thinking of you today and we just wanted to offer you something sweet because we think you're sweet or something like that. So it's one of those things of... Um, of the universe, and it's like um, usually when that happens, there's opportunity. You know, if you're giving up sugar and everyone's offering you donuts, there's an opportunity to say no to those donuts and to transcend that. It's like, and I always say that it's like the universe will keep testing you and it'll pull you down, you know, trying try to hook you out. And at a certain point, it le leaves you alone, usually for a long period of time, because you've said no for long enough. And the point with that is. Uh, it, um, it's like withdrawal or letting go, or having a time to get a relationship with yourself or getting that love from within or getting that love from God. You know, because ultimately when you're giving something up, it's to get that relationship to, to, to the infinite, you know, to the light within. So each time you say, you say no, you're break, you know, it's like you have a limiting idea that thinks that without this thing, without sugar or without these type of men or these women, that uh, you, you, um, life won't be enjoyable or you need that. So each time you say no, that belief is starting to diminish. And then eventually, you know, it's like, it's not like there's a, like a, a person called God out there making, making your life different, but it's like at a certain point the universe will leave you alone. And then it may test you later on again in a few months or years, but it uh, leaves you alone and you get that connection. And usually once you transcend that, usually then you'll start to attract better things in if you, by just saying no to things which are not good. So it's good to do that um, uh, in that way. And, I, you know, an another way to reframe it is to say, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, uh, it's like, um, it's like if, this is, if everyone's offering me a donut or if all my bad relationships are asking me out to come back to them, then it's like, you can sort of see the pattern, you know, it's like, oh, well, this is a good thing. It means that I've now got spiritual opportunity. There's spiritual opportunity to jump up to the next level of, of my consciousness, you know, to say no to things which have always easily pulled me back into those bad patterns and just to, to go through them. With codependents, with love addicts and codependents, you know, they can't stay uh, alone for a period of time. They just have to grab another relationship. It's like, oh, you've broken up with me. 
not to worry, I've got like 17 other people I can call, and the next day they've got someone on their arm. You know, and another, they've broken up, but within 24 hours they've got another person. So they're, they're skilled in making sure they don't go for a period without feeling, feeling that thing. Or, you know, as a donut addict, you've got like sugar cakes and, you know. I used to buy like things, like when I used to be, I had this thing where I used to love cashew nuts. I had these things with food. And I'd buy like like those 25 kg cashew nut things. So you can't like you can't like run out of cashews because the idea of like not having enough cashew nuts. 25 you know, kilograms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd wow. do that. I'd, I'd get the wholesale. Oh. My father would take me because he was a restaurateur. He'd take yeah. me to the to the to the markets where you could get boxes of fruit and boxes of stuff. So I was literally getting industrial like <laughs> right. You can't be like when you're. If you're a, if you're a food addict, you can't be, the thought of not having enough food in the house is too terrifying, so you have to make sure that you've got enough, an endless supply. Or if you're, if you're like a love addict or a codependent, you, you know, you might even have like 700 people at the same time, you know, or you know, you're, or you're just an expert at just pulling another partner without, without a gap. So, all of those things, so just going through that and feeling <coughs> that until you've gone through it's like the universe at a certain point says you pass the test. But if you like, you know, you're oh, you know, like you're going through withdrawal and you're like, oh, I just need another donut, and then someone loves it, and you pull the donut while you're craving it, then you just like you failed your driving test. You know, it's like back to square one. Or if you're like, okay, I ha I've not been on a, de you know, I've not had a relationship for one day, two days, three days, four days, five days. Oh, I desperately need a relationship. I don't know if I can last another day. But eventually, you know, if you do, you know, and then on the sixth day, someone asks you, you want to go out for, you want to go out for a meal, and you say yes, and you're just desperate for it. Well, you, if you do it in that place of lack, and you say yes to it, then it's like you pass, you know, it's like you pass, the t you fail the test, mm -hmm. fail back to square one. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't get to a sense of freedom by by saying no. So the universe is like just checking you while you're going through that the withdrawal phase of wanting the thing, whatever it is, whether it's a relationship, bad, bad relationships, or, you know, um, uh, addicts always like things which are bad for them. You know, if you're a love addict, you always choose bad, bad uh, relationships. If you're a food addict, you always eat in a way that's bad with food, or um, if you're a gambler, you always use money in, in a way which is destructive. So that's the thing with, um, so it's a mystical thing. And if you, if you feel like you want to be free and then you're getting like things which are inviting you to things which are, and the, 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 other, the other thing to know is when you're going through withdrawal, if you're, if you're an addict, is your head will always rationalize it'll be different this time. You know, that's one of the mm. things I would say. It's like, oh, I've done five days without donuts. And I'm probably like a, you know, I'm probably an ascended master now, so I can probably <laughs> handle. Like this donut, you know, I've done five days, I can handle this donut, and it's going to be different this time. You know, or if you're like going from withdrawal from bad relationships, you know, like you've, got, you've done three days without, without meeting anyone, and then your ex calls you up and says, you know, well, you know I'm sorry, I was really a jerk last time, and let's, let's go out again. You know, you, you'll think, oh, well, it's going to be different this time. But really, energetically, you, if, you, if you want it and you haven't got to that place of peace within, then I would say it's a, uh, say no. Say no. Say no to whatever it is. Because if you pick something up while you crave it, or you haven't gone through to a sense of wholeness and completion on the other side, then I, you know, it's, like going, you know, it's like snakes and ladders. You just go straight back down. So just uh, just uh, just say no that's my view uh, until you get the wholeness from from God and th these mystical things happen the more you do mystical things especially if you want to give something up if you want to give something up and surrender it you'll be tested from the universe and if it's something that's really important to you you'll be tested strongly so um, my thing is um, like I'm in a lot of 12-step fellowships like um, have a have a lengthy withdrawal phase and make sure. Um, like I, I'll, I'll give you an example, like um, with food, uh, or with buying food, or actually not actually buying things. One of the things I did was with 
the impulse to buy things. I had the impulse to buy things. And I would always say, like, if I really want to buy something, then I'll sit with the craving to buy it until I don't feel like buying it. And then, I'll, and then I won't buy it that day. And, I, and, if I, and if the next day I think I still want to buy it, then I'll sit with that and I'll keep doing that. And what, what I found was by sitting through the craving, and this, could, this can equally apply to, if you're going through withdrawal and you want a donut or you want to speak to your, your ex who's bad for you, or if you want to not buy something because you're a compulsive spender, you just sit with that craving, you, you feel the craving until you don't want it, and then let it go. And the next day, if you get the craving, sit with it until you don't want it. And eventually, you, you, you transcend it. And I eventually found with most things, if my ego says, oh, I want to buy that, you know, some things I want to say, I want to buy that, then I'll, say, I'll just sit with that, feel it out, and then not buy it. And then the next day, you see it's still on sale, you just sit with it until you don't want it. And then usually you don't want to buy it, you know, because you like, actually, you don't need this, these things. And actually, that's a place of much greater power, uh, is, you know, on the theme of outcomes and explanations, is when you... When you're with things from a place of wholeness, when you're th with things from a place of presence, when you're with things, you know, and then it's non-dual. If you're in the non-dual states, there's no such thing as a you with that because that doesn't exist within the non-dual states because you now in the states of oneness. So that, in fact, is, is the greatest place of, of presence because you're not in bondage with things. So, yeah, you know, all those people in bad relationships or bad exes coming back, or donuts being offered, or whatever it is, you know, it's it's good. And if you go through that phase, it's like for me, you get promoted to the next level of consciousness, and um, and things will be a lot better depending on how well you said no to things that uh, you know you get elevated, you know, from what is it, economy to business to to. Anyway, never mind, forget that one. Okay, so.